We've got Kevin here from Thor, and we've got Aliche, the queen of class Bs. Kevin said, I want you to think about something different than a class B for one time, Aliche. <laughs> We've got a great video for you today on how to have fun outdoors. That's right, the 2023 Thor Vegas full walkthrough. They're calling this the Class B RV Killer. And I tell you what, I got Aliche looking at this thing and it was a lot of fun. These things are built intentionally as a short Class A RV on a Ford E-Series chassis that's right easy to maneuver vegas promotes that confidence behind the wheel it isn't your average class a it's really more of what they're calling an ruv recreational utility vehicle its drivability is excellent and uh, obviously it's found on suv automobile market which means even when you had something hauling on the 8,000 pound hitch, you can enjoy a stress-free ride. So pretty cool difference. And you know, when you look at the length compared to a Class B, it's not a huge difference, but there's a ton more space. So let's take a look at model 24.1 to begin. We're gonna show you that. Here's the Thor's website. Like we said, 25 feet, eight inches long, height of 11 feet. Um, the gross weight there is 12,500 on the Ford. This is what it looks like. So it's kind of like a mini class a if you will a couple of different colors you can get on the outside lots of different uh, cool features on the inside so you can really dress this up with a lot of different colors a lot of different looks not a different fabrics which is really cool also has the solar package which is pretty neat and we're gonna look at that 24.1 and the 24.4 really nice layouts this 24.1 you got the two uh, to in bed that converts into a huge king bed obviously that slide out and then on the 24.4 you've got the double slide out really nice we've got kevin here from thor and we've got aliche the queen of class b's kevin said i want you to think about something different than a class b for one time aliche yeah and we came over and he's got this vegas and quite honestly, I didn't even know what this is. It's not a C, it's not, but we're gonna let we're gonna let Kevin tell everybody, glad, especially man. all you class beers out there, why this is a much cooler vehicle. So well, take what it away. As far as versatility, usability, you know, parking, uh, stuff like that. We've designed this back in 2000 and the first year that hit was model year 15, and uh, we use stat surveys to track our sales, which is RV registrations. And if we would have, if, if, if you would have sold more than 500 units in one model year, you would have broken any new record of any new RV ever introduced into the industry. And in wow. eight months, wow. we, re we retailed over 893 of these. And people love them because they go anywhere you know, the unit's this much longer than a pickup truck. Exactly. Um, you know, you can go to Walgreens, you get your prescriptions filled. You can go to uh, grocery stores, Walmart. Can't go to the Chick-fil-A drive through I'm sorry. No, no drive throughs so what, we do, what we do unique to the industry is, is our chassis. You know, this is on an E450 chassis, okay. which is what a lot of your Class Cs are built on. However, what we do is we have a relationship with a company called Moride. They're in Elkhart, Indiana, and they're a, they're a upfit company. What they do is they upfit chassis, and that's all this company does. And, and believe it or not, they got their start in the ambulance business. Oh, years wow. and years ago. Exactly. So I want you to think about how stable an ambulance oh, chassis has yeah. to be when you got people working on the back of injured people and the guys coming yeah. in and out in of the In emergency, exactly. right between cars. Exactly. And, that exactly. Kind of thing. and so yeah. what we do is we add steel and structure to the base line of of our particular chassis yeah. to to position weight distribution between rear and front axle okay and and also we do it not for every unit but for every floor plan wow this is our 24.1 which is uh which has been our benchmark selling floor plan uh since the inception um, so what I want to do is I want to talk to you, you know, we do a vacuum bonded wall. 
Okay. You know, with with bead foam insulation, you know, which is a which is a real high density styrofoam, and and it's built like a high end motor home is on on the uh, as far as our insulation, your yeah. your water tanks, gray tanks, black tanks are all yeah, beaded. Insulated. Exactly, yeah. it's very well insulated unit. Um, and and so what I'd like to do is is to show you. You know, like people look at the Class C's, you know, mm -hmm. and, and listen, we build more Class C's than any manufacturer in existence, okay? okay? However, what I want you to understand is the front four foot of most Class C's are what? They're a cab. Yeah. They're just a cab, okay? So when you come into this motorhome, what you're looking at when I show you the inside, Alicia, is, is when you come into the inside of the coach, what I want you to do is I want you to look at the, of, of how having that a design with the seats that swivel around become and, and incorporate as part of that living area Perfect. and it's really really nice um you know what i'd love to do is have you walk in i want your opinion okay because right. at the end of the day if mama doesn't like it nobody, nobody <laughs> gets it, right and big warranty on here huh 12, oh, yeah. 12 year structure structural six year lamination wow You've got You've got, you know, your three year, 36,000 miles standard Ford, you know, and your dash components, five year, 60,000 mile running gear. Um, you know, it, it, we, we're we not putting a 12 year uh, structure warranty and a six year lamination warranty on products that we're not sure about what we're building, okay? That is pretty you awesome. Know, it's, it's pretty amazing. All right, let's go ahead and jump on up there. I know I've got 10 there. minutes and I want to cover all the real nice stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Here. Yeah. Wow, nice stuff. screen yeah. doors. Oh, really, yeah, really doors. Great. nice steps up. Look at that. Everything's... Look at how much windows you have. Yes. Wow. And, and so... look, at the, look at the visibility with the high vista windows here. You know, um, pull out dash station. You know, you know it this... reminds me of a space shuttle. Yeah. Just, whatever, right? just pulls out so you can you know send the cribs wow. you know write out christmas cards or do what you do while you're traveling you know 110 12 volt plug standard notice notice the versatility and the usability i can do in and out of the driver passenger seat so you know in in a typical smaller motorhome what happens is is if Alice wants to get up or give give you an example get something to drink while you're going on a nice run you can't really get in and out of that of that passenger not seat. Not so easy. Not so no. easy. Yeah. You know, everything's at your fingertips. Wow, a lot of space up here too. A lot of too. space. A lot of space. And then you have space. your little uh, drapes that come down. No, so you've got the, the curtains that pull to the yeah. side, and then, then that's a power shade. Okay. That's that goes awesome. up and down. We've got Apple CarPlay, Droid Auto, standard equipment. Okay. Um, we even have... What's really unique to 23 is we've come out with some really nice. We've always had the turn signal cameras at the bottom of the of the mirror. Okay. We do not mount our turn signal cameras on the sides of the coach because this is your line of sight. Okay. So what's unique is is now with the with the new camera system, it it just doesn't shoot like right blinker, right side, left blinker, left side. It shoots lane one and two and part of lane three. Okay. So what does that mean to customers coming down south to Florida, heading down through downtown Atlanta, right? When you got seven, eight lanes of traffic doing 80 miles an hour bumper to bumper, and that Apple CarPlay tells you you got to merge and get off at the exit that's a mile up. You want to be able to see two or three lanes over. It's really nice. Yeah. Wow. Also, I, I, I can't forget to point this out, but people, people want to feel safe. So at night, to give you an example, you hear a noise outside, you can literally turn the key on and hit the camera button that we actually install at Thor. All of this over here is Ford. We actually add this onto our motorhomes and that's a camera system. So you can do a perimeter check. Directly right? from here. Yeah, yeah right. You kind of see what's out there. If there's anything going on, you got We've bears hanging out in your, you know, yeah. your, wow. your barbecue cool. outside. Just a monster Five, window, yeah. big open area here. People That's, that always talk about yeah. they want the sleeping, right? So we put a 500 pound power bed here. It goes wow. up and down. Yeah, we provide so the ladder. Two beds in the back. Yeah, yeah, you've got twins that convert into the king. Okay. okay, all you do to put that to a king is pull this centerpiece down and it makes a, a full king bed back here. Okay. So if you want to, you know, I mean, if, if people like that twin design. Yeah. This actually makes into a full pull-out sleeper sofa. We give you uh, the legs and a table here. Okay. okay. Uh, also, we give you a little coffee table. When the seats swivel around, you can have a coffee table here in between the driver passenger seats. And that as mounts well. right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it just pops right in. Very and uh, cool. I mean, it is just when you look at the Vegas. And what's kind of cool 
I always joke around and say, you know what goes on in the Vegas stays in the Vegas, baby. Right. Oh, so, yeah. I like that. I like that. And this Microwave is designed convection. just like a Class B. I mean, you got the flip yeah. up. And, you got the uh, flip up. You got this. Now, I want yeah. you to think about this. Could you imagine me, six foot two, you know, 260 pound man in a Class B motorhome? I, I just, that's what, you know, that's what people that have them, they complain the most about them. And I'm not saying, you know, Class Bs are great. You know, they're great. However, you know, it's about functionality and usability yeah. when you're actually camping. Yeah. You know, I mean, they're yeah. great if you want to go and park in somebody's driveway or, I, you know, I, I love the bees. I, I do. We build a slew of them. Uh, but the, the Vegas is something that people really need to start taking note of because they're really doing well. Yeah, yeah I mean, this is, and the whole point of this so video, again, by the way, is... We're, we're yeah. not even 25 feet long here. Yeah, yeah. You know, and a pickup truck's 23 yeah, and a half, so. almost 24 foot. So, so the, whole point, the whole point of this uh, video is to highlight to all the Class B people, you do have an option there that's similar that gives you that extra room like you're highlighting you know, with, with somebody over six foot or wants that little bit of extra space. Yeah. All right, so we've got the round yeah, uh, here. Yeah, sink here. So you know, what do we got, got over the, here? Over here, you got the, you know, the pull-up stove. All right. Stove top. You've got a power. So power. how are we set up power-wise? We got propane on here, no, generator. Got propane, we got propane uh, standard. Also, I do a LP disconnect on the outside. If you do want to haul a barbecue grill, tremendous basement storage across the back. You got a full pass through storage. I'll show you that when we go outside. Uh, it's really, really cool because what we know is a lot of people love to barbecue and camp and you know, they cook outside. So we put an LP disconnect on, on the exterior of all of our floor plans. So you can just tap right into the existing LP line, you know, and, and do a portable Perfect. grill and what have you, yeah. Very, very, very nice. All right, generator, any generator? Generator standard, 4.0 generator, standard equipment, run everything in the coach. 15 BTU AC, freeze everybody out of here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's face it, man. 90% of the camping's done in hot weather, not cold. Right. Yeah. Now, know, how about so, solar? Any solar? Uh, or? Yes, we do. Uh, standard is is uh, what we put on the unit is a solar prep, but we bring everything in with an 80-watt solar panel. With an 80-watt. Mm -hmm. Now, have you looked at lithium at, on these yet or no? No, we have Still AGM on them right what now. What will end up happening is, is that you're adding so many thousands of dollars into the charging of the batteries and this and any other. Yeah. It just takes it out of a price point that that appeals to a lot of customers. Okay. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense. All right. So. Very good. Okay. All right. Big fridge. Big, big, big couch. Big fridge. Big couch. Comfortable couch. Yeah. Comfortable big couch. comfortable couch. couch. You got your cell phone charger here. Here. That's take a nice. Look in the back yeah. Let's take a look. Make. And you get the freezer. This is a convection too. A convection Mex microwave. and microwave. Yep. That's nice. Um, yeah. Obviously, big space back here. I mean, this is. This is where you really pick up a lot of space and a lot of storage with this yeah. design. And of course, we build a twenty-five three uh, or twenty, excuse me, a twenty-five seven floor plan for the outdoor uh, enthusiasts, uh, and and has a back entrance door, and then the bed flips up so you can haul kayaks and bicycles, and and then we build a twenty-four three and a and a twenty-four four. We have four floor plans right now. We do have four floor uh -huh. plans. four floor plans. Yes, sir. Right, and then in. open that door, and you got a full enclosed bath, and then wow. her face, she's got her dress, her makeup mirror, and whatever, you know. I like, like that. And there are plenty of windows. Yeah, very nice. All right, there wow. you go. We have a great mirror here, really nice, in addition to the one in the living room. And uh, great space for hanging and additional tables. Wow, that is got a lot of space to hang clothes. Yeah, and you've got so you got a lot more the storage. Look at the perimeter in the bedroom. You've yeah. got all cabinets along, oh, yeah. the, along oh, yeah. the ceiling. Oh yeah, that is a lot on of all three sides. storage. Yes, Very impressive. And look at the dimension of this refrigerator. Yeah, it's yeah. huge. And the freezer. I mean, I didn't open the freezer yet, but yeah. Look so you pick here. up a lot of extra storage, a lot of uh, extra room, but yet you have a very similar type of layout within, you know, like you said, it's only how many feet? 25 feet. 25 feet. I, that's bumper to bumper. Now, really, yeah. it's listed as a 24, Yeah, but that's your interior space, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So everyone back home is going to ask the question. So for the 23, mm -hmm. how much are these Vegas running? I mean, obviously, you have options and different things, but the general range for this. You know, of one, one uh, you'll, you'll see them out of the show in the, in the 139 to 59 range. You okay. know, I think they have an MSRP. I don't know where the MSRP sheet is. 
uh, the MSRPs are in the in in the high ones. Okay. You know. All right. Yeah. Very good. All right. I mean, well, let's not, not bad for thirty five grand more than a pickup truck. Oh it? yeah, yeah. Not, yeah, yeah. There you go. Really. All right. Let's take a look at the outside because uh, I'm sure you got a lot more storage on that than a Class B. Oh, well, what'd you think, Aliche? For the queen it. of class B, that's a pretty cool rig. Anyway, look at the, look at the amount of so I don't even know what you call it. I still haven't figured out. So it's not a class C. It's not a class B. It's, it's listed as an, it's it's actually a class A. A class a, yeah, a. We've listed it as an RUV, which is a recreational utility vehicle. Okay. Okay, and now Wow, look at huge this. storage there. Again, Outlets. like I mentioned, we do the LP disconnect oh, yeah, standard on everything we build. We, we, we actually build stuff the customers love to use because they all you talk to them and they love cooking outside yeah i want you to look at this you talk about storage wow i want okay. you to look at this cavernous storage compartment <laughs> all the way across wow we even put a rear access door you know we have a rear access yeah wow. we even have a rear access door here as well. look at that for all the class beers that's yeah. tough to look at because that is a tremendous yeah, amount that's of storage. Stuff that, that I'm hearing a lot of people can't do is haul anything with them in, in a lot of your V designs and so forth. But, yeah. uh, this has tremendous basement storage, interior, exterior. It's just, you know, and it's so much coach. Well, no question about it. This thing was pretty cool overall. The materials may not match up with a high-end Class B, but overall, there's no question they crush a camper van when it comes to storage inside and outside no question about it if you're not familiar with our channel we do tons of class b rv videos like this new one on the travato showing the new front end of the ram all the new 4x4s a new wiggum update on the oasis and we even found a cool game called Merbles for all you rvers but let's get back to vegas because we're not done we're going to show you one of the other floor plans and you can see that it is also pretty awesome so Aliche is going to take us through this one take a look and let us know what you think all right so here's the other vegas at the 24.4 model yeah this one's a little bigger let's take a look at this floor plan real quick for everyone back home as a bonus to this vegas video the class b alternative same up front but the back is definitely much bigger and wow, for a few extra feet, this thing turns into a big RV for sure. This is a big home. Yeah, <laughs> so here's the slide out. out. Yeah. You got the big dinette. Really nice dinette. I love the fact that you have a table fix instead of the sofa. Yeah. Two nice spot where you can eat in four. So obviously this is designed really nice to hold the four people. Yeah. Very comfortable. The kitchen is a little bigger and... Uh, uh, but it always has uh, what I love of it is the microwave or, or, or convection. Or uh, convection oven. You have uh, the television right on top, so if you're sitting having dinner yeah. or lunch, you can still watch your TV. Great big windows in front uh, that I really like. Um, always two burn burners here on the side. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic, nice. This is uh, a little uh, uh, sofa. But obviously it will turn down and you will have another uh, bed. So you will have the two people sleeping there yeah. and the other two people on top there when you slide right. down the, uh, the top. Yeah. Great. Wow, another big fridge. Basically yeah. the same as the other one, but it's it's huge for I, sure. I love same layout. Big yeah, that fridge is a big plus. <laughs> Lots big of food, plus. so if yeah. you're going to be traveling. But look at the storage. Look at the mirrors. Yeah, here you have actually wow. two big closets. Look and at that. You can have a lot of hanging clothes over here. You can do hers and his. Wow, super <laughs> no amazing. No problem. And obviously you gain a lot of space on the bathroom. Yeah, I mean, the rear this bath. is a really big bathroom. You can actually have probably me and another kid or, you know, almost one person in the house. And you can dance in it. Very comfy. Yeah, lots of room for sure. Yep. Big vents and nice bathroom overall. Plenty of storage. Got some more outlets down here. Pretty cool. Um, and more storage here also. Wow, look at the storage. These things have so much storage compared to what we're used to. But, you know, for something that's similar to a Class B, this is pretty cool. No question about it. 
So we hope you uh, enjoyed this video as an alternative for all of you class beers out there. Absolutely. We got the queen of class B. These Vegases are selling pretty hot. These are the 2023 couple of floor models here. There are four all together. Yeah. But Aliche, what do you got to say to everyone back home? Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and this is a very unique and new design that we're using the market. Please don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and thank you so much for watching. How do we have fun? <laughs>